And now for this last feature that we're going to highlight in terms of what Copilot can do in Outlook, we're going to focus in on the calendar for a moment because Copilot can actually help us schedule things like meetings. Let's jump right into it. So as you can see here, I'm on my Outlook. This time I've moved over to the calendar tab here and I want to go ahead and schedule a meeting. What I can do is I can use Copilot provided the information and it'll do that like work for us. So as always, we're going to navigate over to the top of the page here, give the Copilot icon a click. And here you see some of the options that we have when it comes to meetings. So we can ask it to help you prepare for a meeting. Um, we can ask it to recap any meetings on a subject. And then we can actually have it suggest when the next upcoming meeting is. For this particular example, we're going to focus on having Copilot schedule a meeting for us. So what we're going to do is say, schedule a meeting with Ellen Wilson and Carlos Perez for next Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. And then as always, as we've been talking about, when it comes to prompting with your AI, the more detail you can give it, the better the response will be. So in this case, let's add a little bit of detail as to what this meeting is about. This meeting is focused on preparations for our all hands team meeting on May 19th. And if that's all you need in terms of, of details, that's totally fine. I'm going to add in just one more piece of information. This meeting is to check in on progress regarding the presentation slides. So again, we just want to do a quick check-in to see how they're doing with their presentation slides. All right, so we gave it a lot of detail there. Again, you don't necessarily have to include all of that. I just find it to be helpful because we can really see how Copilot can really get our desired output based on those prompts that we selected. So what it's doing right now is going to look at the availability for Ellen and Carlos for Tuesday at 9.30 and it's going to base it on those details that we provided. So in this specific case, it's not able to check their availability for the date and time. Normally, if we had access to their schedule assistant, we could actually see when they're available and Copilot would tell us, hey, it's working or hey, this time can't work and it will suggest some new times. In this case, because we don't have access to checking their actual availability, we can just go ahead and send out this email as needed and then if for whatever reason it doesn't work out, they'll respond back to us. But you can see here, it's asking us, would you like me to send a meeting invitation to Ellen and Carlos for next Tuesday at 9.30? We can say, yes, send. Go ahead and click send there. And now Copa is gonna go through the work of creating that invitation, sending it out to both Ellen and Carlos so that they know that we have a e uh, meeting scheduled for next Tuesday at 9.30. And again, in that email, it'll provide them with the details that we mentioned. So it'll make sure to note that the focus of the email will be preparations for the all hands meeting, and then also checking in on their progress in the presentation slides. So once they get that invitation, it'll mention what the purpose of the meeting is for, and that way they know that this is what they need to prepare ahead of time. And you can see that once it, once that invitation is set and we get some of those acceptances, it'll populate on our calendar and then we can jump into that meeting as needed. So that's just one of the ways that you can use Copilot for calendar enhancements. Again, also make sure to take a look at the ways that you can use it to prepare for meetings as well as check availability.